I've recently had a new uh, exotic made for me, and it's um, it's a little bit different than the other guitar. As you can see, the first thing is that it has a rosewood neck, and I have two humbucker pickups, and there was a reason for that for me. Um, I was trying to um, get more of a softer, jazzier tone, uh, as well as getting the rock tone with my guitar. So um, I had to make me this guitar with a humbucker on the front and with the rosewood. The rosewood gives you a slightly softer, maybe in this case, a little bit more mid-rangey sound. Um, uh, it's, they're a little more pronounced. And the humbucker makes it possible for me to do uh, a little jazzier type of tone. Uh, for single line. It's a little softer and a little more mellow sounding. Um, I've also, they have a little split coil on, the, on this uh, pickup as well, so I can still get the kind of funky. So I can still get funky by splitting this and getting this combination right here. And, um, and also if I need to, I can go right to the thick jazz tone for those solos when I have to. Also, great car. It's very lightweight and it's beautiful and it functions wonderful. It comes like already set up really great. The intonation's spot on. And it's also just a it's a pleasure to play. It just it plays really great. It also comes with stainless steel. Um, uh, frets, which make it easier to bend. This guitar has a thicker neck and a uh, compound radius, so when I get up, even though the action is really low, I can uh, I can bend all I want to up high on the neck, and there's no buzzing out of any sort. And this one also has the uh, raw vintage pure steel um, uh, saddles on it, which give it a little softer sound. It, this one has a slight plating on it, so it might be a little bit brighter than the other one. But uh, it's still the raw, the old pure steel uh, bridge saddles, which give the sounds like the old fenders from the late 50s and early 60s. Mm -hmm. 